Well, it is night number two of the Trophy Cup and we are here at the Tulare Thunder Bowl in Tulare, California. Welcome back to today's video. This is night number two of three for our weekend down here in the Central Valley in California. And tonight we are looking to improve on our results from night number one. We really just didn't start off on the right foot. We struggled with qualifying if you saw that vlog and then was a, was all right in the heat race, not really much better, but we really found some speed as the racetrack widened out and got closer to the outside Outside wall and developed a cushion it really gets right up here on the fence and then the other line is right down here by the inside wall this place truly has so much character between the different lines that you can run how it can get rough and develop holes through the center parts of the racetrack and you have to avoid those as well as race around them and overall it's just extremely interesting so it's a nice day it's fairly cool right around 70 degrees we have mud pack coming up soon right after the pit meeting in 15 minutes then we're gonna have hot laps and then right into single car qualifying so like I said Let's start tonight off on a better note than we did yesterday and the rest of the night should be much smoother. It is uh, not one thing, it's another. Another night of not a good qualifying lap. This time it wasn't necessarily me behind the wheel making a mistake, the engine did not run. You guys could probably hear it, it was so noticeable obviously behind the wheel of the car, the people in the stands, my crew, they all could hear it. It seemed like it fired out of the gate all right, but on my first lap when I went into three, I slammed the left rear in one of the ruts, like I just tried to drive through straight and the car got sideways and it's almost like I knocked a spark plug out or something, like it was running on seven cylinders. You saw immediately when I came in, we pulled the hood off, we pulled the stacks off, we started looking. So this is a spark plug wire that goes on the distributor cap and the K&N air filter clip was cutting down into it and was stuck into it, shorting out the number three spark plug. I mean, you can see the cut clear as day right there. So that's just a mistake we know not to make. Like my dad said, that clip just cut and it obviously was shorting out and we weren't getting all the power out of our 360. So obviously just incredibly frustrating. How we found it is my dad was actually putting his hand on the header and when he came over cylinder number three, plug number three, it actually wasn't burning his hand. So that kind of indicated to us that we maybe need to look a little bit closer and we kind of found it all, put it all together and then we ended up fixing that issue, that wire, and then also we changed the mag just in case that was part of the problem so with all that happening i think we ended up like 37th quick in our group so we are going to be buried once again in a heat race and now the rest of our night is pretty much going to be an uphill battle race number one are you ready race fans ryan robinson and brock limley bring it to the start line Oh, 
Well, uh, our heat race here for night number two of the Trophy Cup was kind of pathetic. We ended up being the first heat race of the night after a full rework after 85 360s qualified and a couple different factors tonight as far as track conditions and what's affecting it. It's really windy. It was a little overcast earlier, but it seemed like the track held up fairly good and then it just really got super slick at the end of qualifying and then eventually they decided to rework it after that and man, it was juice. Now that the sun's down, we don't have that beating on the racetrack and it's really held moisture now through all the heat races. But for my first heat, I started 10th and it was literally greasy around the bottom. Like the whole track was greasy minus a small lane on the very top. And so on the start, everyone's buzzing their tires. For a couple of the laps, people just can't find a groove. We all pushed tight into the first corner and it was just, it was a complete mess. I mean, kind of, uh, I wish they would have just let us work it in or tried to roll it in a little bit more because there wasn't any racing. We just single filed out and eventually the track slowly burnt in, but over three quarters of it was just grease. Um, we're gonna probably have a C-Main event coming up next. There's more heat races running and it's still kind of burning in, but it's still extremely fast and um, turning some of the fastest lap times of the night, in fact. All right, so we are getting ready to roll up for our C-Main event. I feel like they're kind of rushing tonight a little bit because of weather. It kind of was sprinkling off and on. But we're starting around 12. It's kind of hard to know if a couple guys might drop out because they wrecked about 11 cars in the heat races. It was, a, it was definitely a, a tough set of heats. But anyway, we're gonna roll out there. Racetrack is still fairly hooked up. We're just gonna try to, you know, transfer through this and, and, get, and get going. So, um, like I said, we're starting deep, but we can make progress like we did last night, move forward and have a shot at transferring. I'm not 
and Hollywood Danny Faria. Tim Estenson and Chase Katz in transfer positions. Michael Palmer on the outside to get in. Well, I really don't have too much to say. We did not make it as far tonight as we did yesterday. Started, I think, 12th or 14th there in the C main event, and the racetrack was just super good on the bottom. Remember I told you it was greasy for our heat races? Well, eventually, once that top kind of burned in and guys were finally able to start running lower, the grease that was there turned into grip once it got rolled in, and then it was just really, really fast around the bottom for a good majority of the lower mains, and then it kind of started to move back up to the high side for the final A main event for the night. Like I said, just super disappointing how everything went. I'm just, uh, I, I don't know, it just, it just sucks. It really sucks. Uh, we were hoping to have a better night number two than night number one, and then it all did not start off with qualifying, and that's so huge with this format. I think qualifying's worth like 100 points, and the heat race is worth 36. So you can definitely make up a lot of ground there in time trials. Is what it is, that's gonna end our night number two of Trophy Cup. Um, I mean, we're, we're buried, we're deep. We didn't get any points tonight. We didn't game points on the first night we did learn a lot and i feel like we have speed and have potential that just didn't translate over to our results i mean like i said in our c main tonight it was literally you know almost hero dirt just right around the bottom and my car was all right but i wasn't able to make enough passes or have enough time to really even move forward so like i said that concludes our second night of the weekend and just um i don't know we're hoping for a little bit of a better result i guess Well, as you can hear, it is extremely loud right now. We are at the Red Bluff Outlaws, and it's supposed to be night number three of Trophy Cup. A lot of you guys are probably confused on why my team is not there. There was a Red Bluff Outlaw points race on the same night as the final night, and our plan was to see how the first two would go. We were sitting really good in points. We obviously had it organized to where someone could substitute for me here at Red Bluff, but obviously with how our first two nights went, we are so, so buried, and even though I'd love to give myself a chance even to run this third night. I know that I need to be be here at Red Bluff to be with the Factory QRC team and fulfill the seat that I'm in. I'm thankful for what those guys do. They have, uh, and Jimmy specifically, has put his best foot forward for me for the last five years of my racing career. And out of all the people that have ever helped me besides my dad, Jimmy is in that number one spot. So I owe it to him to be here today racing. And I'm excited for it. I know we have a shot at winning. Our car is really, really good. But I just wanted to clear that up on why we're not at Tulare for night number three. Things would have went a little better maybe you're closer to the a main event or even a b like i said the situation would be different but we had a rough two nights in tulare and um, i would not have wanted to end it with maybe running the third night you have an issue with your equipment or just depending on what the track does you just never know so um we're here at red bluff today though to chase a win thank you guys for watching that's going to end our night number two video deuces